Hello watchers, today we will see how to set a background that will repeat itself horizontally and vertically. By doing that we get an effect of patterned background. You can think about it in the same way you program CSS file in web programming. Ok, let's start. In my project I just have a simple texture and nothing else. In order to apply this effect a custom view needs to be created. In that case let's create a custom linear layout. This also applies for other layouts, so you can choose the layout that fits your needs. Extend this new class with the linear layout and generate a constructor for it. Alt plus insert shortcut on Windows, generate constructor, choose the second option from the given list. Let's declare needed variables. So we need a paint that will be used for drawing on the canvas and also a bitmap that will hold the actual image texture. Then in our constructor we initialize these variables. For the paint style we need to choose style called style.fill in order for image to be drawn on canvas. Then reference your texture by typing bitmap factory dot decode resource and first parameter represents resource environment so just type get resources then second parameter is our drawable image. Ok, now here is where the magic happens. In order to repeat our image horizontally and vertically, we need to use a new bitmap shader. So type in paint.setShader new bitmap shader. First parameter is our bitmap and for the second and third choose shader.tilemode.repeat. As easy as that. Next to ensure that our canvas will be called for drawing, set the method set will not draw to false. Finally, let's call the onDraw method and simply type canvas.drawPaint. And we choose our recently created paint. Uh, there is one more step left. Go to main activity, XML file and choose our new created class for the root view. That's it. All done. Let's start the emulator. And yeah, here you go. It is repeating itself both horizontally and vertically. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time. Bye bye.